Lawmakers are debating several clean energy policies, but Springfield's utility company is asking for more time to make changes to cleaner energy. And if they can't get that time, you might pay for it. WCI3's Cole Hanke has the story. Springfield runs mainly on coal. The city-owned power plant, City Water, Light and Power, is unique in the way it not only distributes power, but generates it strictly for the state's capital. And it will have to make some big changes quickly if the state passes one of the proposed new clean energy plans. I think one of the bills that we've seen proposed adds about $24 million in taxes basically per year. So, you know, that, that's a huge increase to our customers. City Water, Light and Power would like to have until about 2045 to phase out their coal-powered plants. But the governor's proposal would give them only until 2030. Now, CWLP says they can meet that deadline, but it would come at the cost of a higher utility bill for consumers and a less reliable energy grid. We're a municipality, so we're non for profit. So our costs are directly borne by our citizens. So any impact that's made to the, our utility is borne by our city. So there is no getting out of it. Lawmakers have acknowledged that a new clean energy policy could lead to higher utility bills in the short term. But clean energy advocates say if the state passes one of the proposals, then it would only help Springfield in the transition. The state has been behind in helping communities like Springfield making this transition. But if the Clean Energy Jobs Act or something like it becomes law in the days to come, uh, Springfield's not going to be on its own anymore. Springfield is already in the process of transitioning to cleaner energy sources, but the governor's latest proposal would require the city shut down its newest unit, built in 2009, only 21 years after it opened. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA3, your local news leader. Governor Pritzker's proposal would phase out coal in the state by 2030 and natural gas by 2045. The goal is to reach 100% clean energy by 2050.